So the January transfer window is closed and I've got my esteemed panel today where we're going to discuss some of the biggest transfers that have happened in this window. Um, I've got Lewis representing Chelsea, Sophie representing Newcastle, Toby representing Tottenham Hotspur and Troops representing Arsenal. Now, I'm going to start with you, Lewis. Some of the biggest deals done in this window, and it hasn't really been a window where there's been mega deals, but you guys, you've done the big, big deal for um, Pulisic, 57 million, and also bringing in Higuain as well. So, what have you made of Chelsea's January transfer window dealings? Well, we've cleared a little bit of Deadwood by getting rid of Morata and Moses. We've answered a striker problem with Higuain. Obviously, it hasn't worked so far because the midfielders aren't getting the ball to him. But it, it feels like in transfer windows, even if we get the transfers done, we look a little bit like a mess. Like, we've got a big midfielder situation with Jorginho being our only real DM. Fabregas has gone out. We haven't really got a replacement. I don't really hear about a replacement happening. So we've sorted out some areas, but there's some areas that still need to be sorted out too. Sophie, Newcastle. Right? Big spenders! I know. Right? I know. Not, you, you know, you have a go at Mike Ashley and that, but you can't have a go at him right now, you know, uh, bring it, breaking the transfer record at Newcastle, uh, bringing in Almiron from Atlanta United over there in the States. Uh, are you happy with the transfer dealings? Well, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course I am. I mean, when you start from not expecting anything, you're obviously going to be happy with two signings. Um, I think Almiron will play good. He's obviously in advanced stage, should be bringing across from L. MLS, mm. but I mean, 21 goals, 62 appearances, you can't really, can't really complain. His team won the title over there in yeah. um, the MLS as well, didn't he? Yeah, and he was named the top player under 24 in mm. 2017, so he's not a bad player at all. Toby, what's going on at Tottenham? Now, listen, you're only two points off second place, right? Great win the other night. Surely, strengthen the squad and buy some... Yet again, you haven't bought anybody. That's like two windows in a row. Absolutely unheard of for a top team in Europe. Well, to be fair, we did buy someone last January, yes, but this, this season, in terms of transfers, this season, in terms of transfers, it's been, a it's been a sorry state, but what do people expect? We're moving into, like, a, a reportedly £1 billion pound stadium. Um, some point in this season, Lord knows when that's going to happen, but the funds, <laughs> the funds are there, but they're tied up mm. elsewhere, and... The little 30 odd million that we apparently had last summer, we were chasing a bang average um, Jack Grealish all, all summer. So it doesn't look good in that respect. But at the same time, we've kept all our key players. We haven't lost anyone that we would have regretted losing anyway. Mm. So obviously, we've had a few injuries, but we've built up such a, a decent buffer now in the Premier League that we can actually go on and um, try and clinch Champions League without actually signing anyone as well. So, yeah. Troops, um, Arsenal, the signing of um, Dennis Suarez. Excited about that? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> man, I have to be real, blood, you understand? Like, man, I have to be real. It's not really exciting. Um, we do need a winger, you understand? But man, more wanted a defender. I was going to say that. Are you surprised at Arsenal with the defensive problems that they had yeah. that they haven't bought in a defender? And also, a real lack of money to spend. Yeah. Now, the money, the money thing, obviously, um, shout out Lee Gunner, he broke it down in this video. With, um, we've hit the 7% threshold. So we can't bring in no one, you understand? Even if Kroenke was giving us, giving us 500 million, we can't spend it right now. You understand? We have to get all the dead weight out. Lichsteiner, Czech, Welbeck, Xhaka, Mustafi, get rid of all these men off the wage board, you understand? Certain men will go in summertime. That's when I believe that we'll make moves in the window. But check the level, fam. There's no one available, Black. Man. You know what I'm going to ask each of you? I'm going to ask each of you to rate your transfer window out of 10, right? So let's start with you, Lewis. Chelsea's transfer window out of 10. Say about six. We've answered some problems. Midfield still looks a mess and the fullbacks still look like a mess. So okay. there's a lot that still needs to be done over the summer. Sophie, out of 10? Seven or eight. Seven or eight? Yeah. Mike Ashley, he's going to be sitting there loving all this, isn't he? <laughs> seven or eight? He's never heard of seven or eight out of 10. You have to compare it. <laughs> <laughs> True. Toby, um, <laughs> oh, no, <whatever> you. <laughs> we kept all our key players, but we've been needing a central midfielder for God knows how long. We still ain't signed one, so I'm giving us a three out of ten. Three out of ten? Yeah. Troops. Oh, mate. I love your enthusiasm, man. Fab, you know me, bro. You know... <laughs> five, innit? I'm shout out five. To five. Five out of ten? Yeah, bro. All right, um, really like to find out from you guys at home how you've rated the transfer window for your team this January. Um, let us know and don't forget to use the hashtag, the real FFS.
And tonight, we've got the second City derby with Birmingham taking on Aston Villa. First of all, representing Aston Villa, give it up for Mark! <laughs> Representing Birmingham, Jay Jay! <laughs> you know the rules, I explained it earlier. Keep it clean. Mark, you elected to go first. Are you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever will be, Robert. He's ready as he ever will be, I like that. On my whistle, let's go! Right, first of all, can we all get a big round of applause for JJ for turning up for, for their first derby in the first, what, 10, 15 years? So congratulations, finally, finally turned up for a derby. Anyway, last, what, 44 years, we finished above you in 43 years, so that's not good going. And I, I did say to you earlier that I'd try and go a minute without mentioning we won the European Cup in 82, but we won the <laughs> European Cup in 82, in case you don't know. I also want to say a big congratulations for your first 20 minutes at Villa Park this season. Going 1-0 up, it must have been a dream come true. But I know there were a few empty seats in the away end, but luckily there is a 20-minute DVD available in your club shop right now with all, the, all those highlights. So, so congratulations. Available now. I wasn't going to mention the European Cup and the list of trophies, but probably the closest you're ever going to get to the trophies we've ever won is to take a tour of Villa Park, pop your head into the trophy room, have a look round and see the silverware. <laughs> oh. Some harsh blows there. Some harsh blows. You ready to go back at him? Yeah. Representing Bring it on. Birmingham? Bring it on. Let's go on my whistle. See, I knew you were going to bring this up. The, the historians, as they call you. Um, sorry, when was your last major honour again? Because remind me, who's the most successful club in Birmingham in the last decade? Hey! Yeah? Hey! Uh, before I was born, I'm pretty sure that is when the last trophy you won was. Um, but don't let that upset you, because you might throw a cabbage at me. Hey! <laughs> Jack Grealish this, Jack Grealish that. You're a nothing club anymore. I'm pretty sure our centre-half on a free has got more goals than Jack Grealish this season. So, what are you gonna, what are you gonna say? Three seasons in the Championship, 100 million spent just to be two points above us in the league. Is that it? Is that all you got? That's what it, that's what it takes. Is that all it takes? Trophy room. Lads, there's dust on the trophies in there. Honestly, you're gonna need a cleaner in there to come and clean those up soon. <laughs> It's so hard to judge, right? Is it about trophies? Is it about banter? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to ask the crowd to help me out on this one, right? Because this rivalry is hot. Villa or Birmingham? Birmingham. Who says Birmingham. Aston Villa? Yeah. Who's saying for Villa? Yeah. Who's saying for Birmingham City? Yeah. Oh, this is hard. You know what? Ain't no draws in here. Ain't no draws. It's tight, it's tight, it's tight. I'm gonna give it to Birmingham! Congratulations, they won something! They won something! They won something. They won something.